Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2017 Volvo XC90. This one is a T6 inscription model. And as you can see, it is finished off in what is probably my favorite color on the XC90. This one does have the magic blue metallic exterior, which is just absolutely beautiful. Starting out in this video, we'll come up to the window sticker on this one. This one is a XC90 T6 all-wheel drive inscription, and I apologize about the tint. That does make it a little bit difficult to see, but this one is equipped with the inscription package, of course, the vision package, and the convenience package. It also does have the Bowers & Wilkins uh, premium sound system, metallic paint, the protection package, plus and your optional 21-inch 8-spoke diamond cut alloy wheels, 4-corner air suspension for a total price brand new of around $69,000. Now, coming to the exterior of this vehicle, up front you can see you do have your Thor's Hammer DRLs, as well as your front parking sensors down below, of course. And like I said, this one does have the vision package, so you do have the 360-degree round-view camera, all of that. Along the side, your inscription badging down below on this one as well as body colored door handles with some chrome trim around the edges on this one and your intelligent key entry on all four. Also when the vehicle is locked, the mirrors will power fold in of course. Tinted windows, and up top you do have your roof rails, radio antenna in the middle and your panoramic roof. Around the rear you do have a power trunk on this one, dual exhaust down below and your rear parking sensors. T6 all wheel drive and inscription badges over here. And of course, in typical Volvo fashion, your fuel cap is on the passenger side. Just make sure the vehicle is unlocked. Come up and press to release right there. It is a capless fuel system as well. Down below, this one is riding on Pirelli Scorpion Verde tires, which are fantastic tires. They are 275-40R21s. Like I said, this one does have the optional 21-inch diamond cut alloy wheels. Coming to the key of this XC90, one of my favorite features on these, and it just shows the attention to detail, is depending on what interior you get when you get the inscription package, will determine what leather is on your key. So this one does have the amber interior, and it does have the amber leather on the key, which looks beautiful. You do have your lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic on the key. And coming up to the door, this one is equipped with intelligent entry. Have the key fob with you. Come up, grab the handle to unlock, and touch right here to lock. Inside this one does have the amber leather interior, which I have to admit, if I was buying one of these, this is probably the exact color combination I would get. It is absolutely beautiful. Inside, as you can see, you do have a full power driver seat, your Volvo door sills down below, and up top, your inscription badges in the headrest. Go ahead and start this one up does include your typical Volvo smart key as I showed, foot on the brake, and then just come right here and turn to start. Just have the key fob inside of the vehicle and you're good to go. Inside of this XC90 you do have a leather wrapped steering wheel right here with all of your cruise controls as well as audio system controls on this one, adaptive cruise control of course. Up top all soft stitched leather on top of the door, your beautiful natural wood grain around here, as well as the Bowers & Wilkins audio system this one is equipped with, with the metal speaker grates. Nice soft padded armrest down below, and more storage down below all of that. Your trunk release right here and gauge dimmer, as well as wood grain trim, which does follow through on the dashboard and looks beautiful. The dashboard itself, of course, is just one giant piece of stitched leather. It really does look great. In the middle, you do have your gauges, which I promise in person, they don't look as washed out as they do on video. It's just the camera. They are very clear to see for digital gauges. You have your speedometer right there, your display right in the middle, which you can bring up your navigation, audio system controls, all kinds of things right there. You can see you can skip through all of that. You do have your tachometer on this side with your fuel gauge and shift indicator. This one is equipped with the Bowers & Wilkins audio system, so it does have your speaker up in the top of the dash. And right here in the middle, of course, is your Census Connect system, which if you've ever used a smartphone, a tablet, anything like that, you will have absolutely no problem using this because I know it does look a little daunting at first. And the first thing I'd like to say is even though Volvo did incorporate pretty much everything into this touchscreen, unlike a lot of manufacturers, you still get an actual physical volume knob, which is just something that vehicles should always include. But you do get your navigation up top, 
You can bring up your media, FM radio, AM, F FM, uh, Sirius XM satellite radio. Since this one does have the Bowers & Wilkins audio system, it does include a CD player inside of here. Bluetooth, uh, streaming, all of that. Your Bluetooth phone right there. And then you can go back to the home screen and you can scroll in all different directions. This right here will bring up uh, a lot of your applications as well as car status, download center, Navi down below. You can even pull up a lot of your apps down here like weather, Spotify, Park and Pay, uh, Wiki Location, Pandora, Yelp, things like that. And then going back, this display will uh, have your ESC on and off, auto start stop, heads up display, which this one is equipped with, um, your camera. Pretty much everything right here that you can imagine. Park in, lane keep aid, uh, cross traffic alert, everything right there. And like I said, it's so easy to use. I don't even deal with new cars a lot and have maybe used this system a handful of times. And every time I get in and I know exactly what to do, it's very easy. Down below you do have your defrost controls, hazards. This button right here will open your glove box. The stitched padded leather follows through around here all nice high quality it looks great here's the shifter for your eight-speed automatic transmission with sport and manual mode reverse will bring up your rear backup camera which you can also bring up uh, you can zoom in things like that or you can bring up probably one of my favorite features the 360 degree view camera which really does give you an interesting view of the vehicle and it's fairly accurate for what it is too I mean you can see it works very well. Bring it back up. It's a very, very nice feature with this vehicle. Around here, more of the wood grain. Underneath of there, two cup holders, as well as your 12 volt outlet. Up front, more storage. You do have your start stop, drive mode select right here. Parking brake, uh, which is electronic on and off, and then your auto hold. I have called that auto start stop in my videos before, but that is the control for your auto hold right there. Storage inside of here, USB, two USB ports, auxiliary in, and like I said, your CD player. Seats in this vehicle are amazing. They are, hands down, the most comfortable seats I've ever felt in a vehicle. You get your thigh extensions up front, which are power adjustable. The inscription leather as well is so high quality. You have the beautiful perforations in the middle as well. Up top, your auto dimming review mirror with your compass built in, SOS, Volvo on call, interior lighting controls, as well as the controls for the shade for your panoramic sunroof, which you can just send right back. And even the headliner in this vehicle, just nice padded material. It carries down onto the pillars, and everything is so tightly fitted. Your visor's right there. So we'll go ahead and step out of this one. Put the automatic driver's side window down. Another feature I would like to mention is you do have your power mirror controls right here. Press both down at the same time. And the mirrors will power fold in. Just like that. Go ahead and pop the hood. And make sure all the doors are unlocked. Inside the rear seat of this one, everything follows through material quality wise with the soft padded leather up top, wood grain around here, the Bowers and Wilkins audio, as well as a nice padded armrest and storage down below. This one also does include your rear sunshades in the inscription package. To access the third row seating, just pull right here and that will slide forward. You can see you do have a nice third row uh, in this vehicle. That's your leg room right there. It actually, I'm 6'2", I can fit back here no problem, in all honesty, and it's the same nice comfortable seating as up front. Storage on the side, as well as cup holders. Just like that, it will go back, and then you can scoot it even more. Stepping inside, the first thing you'll notice is the nice, solid characteristics of the door, even opening and closing follow through in the, to the rear. Typical Volvo fashion, your vents built into the pillars. As well as back here, it is very comfortable. I'm 6'2". The seat's about where I would sit and I have plenty of room. The seat sits up nice and high and comfortable. In the middle, you do have your rear climate controls right there, as well as your uh, um, different zones on each side, just like that. You can turn it on and off from the center as well. Two air vents right there, as well as some uh, power outlet down below, which is illuminated so you can find it at night. Do have back seat pockets on each side, and probably one of my favorite design elements right there. 
Armrest in the middle for your rear passengers with two cup holders. And up top you can see that beautiful panoramic moonroof as well. Inside the trunk it is full power. Just walk up, press right there to open. And this one does include all of your original carpeted floor mats as well as a set of all weathers right there. To drop the seats down, just release right there. Very nice and simple and you can see the amount of space you get with them folded down. You do have, like I said, storage compartments on each side right there. An interesting little design on it. As well as hooks things like that for the trunk. Also one of my favorite features on the inscription when you do get the air suspension is you can use this right here to actually lower the vehicle down so you can load things in and out of the trunk. I mean you can see like I've said before I'm 6'2 and that brought it down to about knee level for me. Perfect for loading things in and out. Then when you're all done just bring it back up. Go ahead and close that. On this side, everything follows through, of course, on this door. You do get these sunshades for the rear passengers. And up front, you do have a full power passenger seat in this one. Like I said with the glove box, just press right here and it will release it. Inside this one does include the state inspection certificate and then you do get your cleaning cloth as well for the census display as well as the glove box itself is chilled just to open and close it by right there. And of course the manuals and everything will be included with this vehicle when it's sold they just aren't kept in it when it's on the lot. Up front you do have your Thor's Hammer DRLs like I said which are probably one of the most beautiful design aspects of the XC90. And up under the hood, this one does have all those 2 liter turbo and supercharged 4 cylinder or the twin charged engine. And everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic too. Go ahead, close that. Get back in and cut this one off. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up right here. And just cut it off from right here in the center. Remove the key. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.